if there's anything I've learned during quarantine, it's that I really, really took school for granted. It's easy to get wrapped up in all the downsides of having to socially isolate yourself at a time like this. Beyond the obvious implications of our healthcare system being pulled apart at the seams and our economy taking a nosedive, it just kind of sucks to not be able to go outside and do all the things I normally would. My name is Noah Sellers, and ever since I was a little kid, I've been enamored with every aspect of making a movie. Wait, do you want a close up of your face? No. From screenwriting to cinematography to editing. I've been conditioned to view filmmaking as a group activity, a machine with multiple tiny gears that each require multiple people to function properly. But now that we're stuck at home, those people are no longer present. But I think it's important to recognize that being stuck indoors doesn't have to be the death sentence that we sometimes make it out to be. Although film is a deeply collaborative process, I'm a firm believer that limitation breeds creativity. After all, some of my favorite films have been created on a shoestring budget with only a handful of locations to utilize. What's stopping me from doing the same? The past few weeks of isolation have taught me a lot about my storytelling ability. Simple activities like going to the beach and capturing some footage by myself has made me remember just how much I can accomplish by myself, and has made me a lot more independent as a result. Simple architecture and walkways are no longer just places to stroll through. There are opportunities to challenge myself and create something beautiful out of relatively little. So, so much of filmmaking is solving problems when they pop up at the most inopportune moments. So what kind of filmmaker would I be if I didn't solve this one? Storytelling has, and always will be, a necessity for me. And being stuck indoors isn't gonna change that. Hey Siri, navigate to New York City.